Hello and welcome to Tech Talks. I'm your host and technical training manager, Jake Gaylord. Today I've got John Freilich with us and we're going to be talking about the overload measuring device on Wacker Noise and Tell Handlers. Good morning, John. Good morning, Jake. Can you tell me what is the overload measuring device? Sure. The overload measuring device, or OMD, is an audio-visual indicator providing feedback to the operator of an overload situation of the machine. Okay, John, what are the dangers of a machine overload? What's going to happen? Possibly tipping the machine, putting the machine and operator in harm's way. Okay. So can you tell me a little bit more about how the OMD system works? Sure. The OMD sensor uses two sensors to provide feedback to the controller uh, calculating the payload of the machine. Okay, where are these sensors located, John? The sensors are located on the base of the boom arm and one on the axle of the machine. All right, so what exactly do these sensors measure? The boom angle sensor measures the angle of the boom. The input to the controller dampens the system, limiting and slowing down the extension arm. Okay, and what about the one on the axle? The what does that measure? strain gauge sensor on the axle is actually measuring the compression and extension of the casting of the sensor. This is providing a resistive style feedback to the controller, again, slowing down the system, limiting the boom and extension arm. So let me get this right. That sensor is actually measuring minute flexes in the actual axle housing itself. Correct. Yes. So that must be a very sensitive input, John. It is very sensitive. When you're transporting the telehandler, you have to take extreme caution, making sure you tie down at the proper tie down points on the machine. Not to tie down around the axles of the machine, possibly damaging that OMD strain gauge sensor. John, is the OMD system calibrated and set from the factory? The OMD overload protection system is calibrated from factory. Okay, so what situations would require me to recalibrate this system? Uh, any replacement parts of the sensors, the boom angle sensor, the strain gauge sensor or controllers would require a new calibration. Okay, John, let's take a look at this OMD display. All right, Jake, on the OMD display, you have the visual indicators, which is basically a bar graph, you could call it, uh, showing a safe load. Then you get into your warning and then your actual overload protection, where it's going to limit and stop the extension arm. In that orange zone, you're going to start to see the extension arm, the lift functions start to slow down, the speed's going to decrease. And then once you reach the red indicator, then all operation, operations are going to stop. So on top of these visual cues, I'm also going to get an audible alarm telling me that I'm in danger. All right, John, what's the first step in recalibrating this OMD system? Sure. Uh, the first step is you got to get into programming mode. And in order to do this, you're actually pressing and holding the system check button on the OMD display, at the same time cranking the engine over. Once the engine has cranked over, you can release that system check button. You're going to see your LED lights start from the outside and start scrolling to the middle of the display. Once these lights meet the middle of the display, you're going to press the system check button a second time. You are now in this programming mode. Make sure the machine's parked on a flat level surface. The machine is parked, you got the park brake engaged, and you have your counterweight in place with the forks and the counterweight. All right, is the weight attached at this point in time? The weight and forks are not attached to the quick hitch or the telehandler at this point. Okay, what next? Uh, the counterweight has to be within range. It's got to be between 3,000 and 4,000 pounds. Okay, so John, obviously we've created and poured a concrete weight specific for doing this calibration in our training classes. What are some of the things that uh, folks out in the field can use to create that weight? In the field, you can use anything from a pallet of salt rock. You can use a pallet of 55 gallon drums of water. Okay, so a gallon of water is roughly eight pounds, so they can do the math, figure that out, and create the, the weight within that range. Within that range of 3,000 to 4,000 pounds, yes. Okay, great. All right, so once you got your weight placed in front of the machine, uh, not obstructing movement of the boom arm, you're going to begin the calibration. So the first step is you're going to calibrate the 0% calibration. You're going to pull the joystick back, boom all the way up with the extension arm fully retracted. Okay. Once you hit relief on the main control valve, you're going to let the boom sit there for 10 seconds. Is it exactly 10 seconds? It is or? 10 seconds, just okay. to make sure and maintain you maintain that back pressure on your boom cylinder. Okay, what next, John? You're gonna hit the system check button to lock in that 0% calibration. Once you hit that system check button on the OMD display, 
So you're going to see a flashing light of red once. Once you see that flashing light, you're going to boom down, pushing that joystick forward. You will now begin the 100% calibration. This is where once the boom is completely down, you're going to attach the forks to the quick hitch and extend the extension arm forward. Once you have the quick hitch attached to the counterweight, you're going to start to extend the extension arm very slowly. What you're looking for is the rear wheels to come off the ground. Once the wheels leave the ground, that is your 100% calibration. From there, you're actually going to take a measurement from the pinhole to the front of the boom arm. Okay, and what is that measurement? This then? is actually the safety factor that is calculated during this overload calibration. So you're going to take this measurement, multiply it by 0.4 or 40%, that is your measurement. You're going to then mark on your extension arm from the base of the boom arm to the extension arm. So if I have a 70 inch boom times 0.4, that's roughly what, 28 inches? Correct, 28 inches roughly. Okay, okay. great. So you're going to mark this 28, 28 inches. You're then going to retract the ex extension arm to that mark you just put on the extension arm. Once you reach that mark, you're going to hit the system check button on the OMD display and you have locked in your, your overload calibration. Okay. So that wraps it up then? That's all you gotta do. John, thanks for walking us through the calibration of the OMD system on Wacker Noise and Telehandlers. For more information on Wacker Noisen products, visit our website at www.wackernoisen.com or simply join our text club. Text the word WN Training to 31996. I'm Jake Gaylord for Tech Talks saying goodbye for now.